Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now, let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Irene, it was great to see you out at the house today. A nice house, good location too, by the way. Uh, let's go inside. Let's take a look. So it's an open wood-burning fireplace. Now, this fireplace used to have a heatilator uh, fire grate in here that actually um, sent heat into the room with vents that are now covered up with the tile here. And I uh, used to blow lots of heat into the house. They took those, they cut those out, and they cut the damper out. You can see where the track's been cut out to accommodate a wood stove insert. Well, the stove is gone, and now we're going to go back to using it, apparently, as an open wood-burning fireplace. We need a uh, little bit of repair work here in the firebox area. Uh, these three holes that were left by the... Um, uh, heat, heat exchange uh, grate, th this thing was torched out, believe it or not. Uh, that is pretty amazing to me that somebody would bring a torch into a house. But with flying uh, uh, metal, I mean, you know, it molded steel, yikes. Uh, but anyway, they did it. And uh, But uh, that needs to be sealed up. Firebox needs to be repaired. And uh, so that's something you should think about doing before you have the, uh, start using the uh, fireplace. Uh, also, the damper, uh, I'm going to put on here, um, you know, the replacement cost of a damper. In many cases, glass doors can act as, a, you know, a good set of glass doors like you have here can act as a good damper. Basically, dampers uh, keep the heat and air conditioning in the house. So it's more of an energy thing than it is, uh, it's certainly not a safety thing. So that's something for you to think about. Uh, Price is on there for you. Uh, let's go up on top. So up on top, they uh, chose to put metal top over concrete uh, uh, masonry fireplace. That's pretty strange, but not hurting anything and certainly keeping the water out. So I'd certainly give you a pass on that. Once I took the cap off, you could see what's underneath there. It's a traditional flue. And if you could peek down in, in this area here, you see this, the old cement crown. But now it's all covered up and it's doing its thing. And so no problems with that. Uh, there in the fla uh, flashing uh, behind the chimney, there's a lot of cracked areas here that should be caulked to keep, uh, keep you from having a uh, water leak. So something for you to think about. Uh, call me, though, with questions. 704-526-6348. Uh, you can text me on that number if it's more convenient or email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.